Look, you're getting lucky, I'm feeling generous, you're getting four videos this week. I wanted to put this video out in a timely manner that actually would be relevant by the time the Galaxy reveal is out. And also, I wanted to put out the other few videos that were coming out this week at the same time because I worked hard on them and I wanted to get them out at a time where people are going to watch them. Well, look at that. Beerus isn't fighting anyone that I put in my video, but that's mostly because I completely forgot about Galaxio when I was making it. And when Biffweed brought it up, I thought, oh shit, I forgot. But at that point, I thought, ah, let him use it. He can have it. And, you know, she would have gotten the possible moniker, and she's the one who is, so, okay. Honestly, you're probably wondering how I feel about this, and it's not Superman, Saitama, or God forbid Arceus, so I'm not really totally negative on it. The connections are okay. God and Sailor of Destruction with big arrogance that doesn't actually hinder them in a fight who have Egyptian design motifs and want the protagonist to get stronger, albeit for different reasons. It's sound, it's fine, it's not Marvel or DC, that's a plus. Also, hey, a new franchise, something this season has been criminally lacking. Honestly, to me, this battle is in the same league as Hades in terms of how interested in it I am. I like Beerus, but the opponent I couldn't care much for beyond the fact that they both look cool and really, really stupid at the same time. Now before I say this, I need to be clear that this is not a video on who I think should win, it is a prediction of who will win the death battle. I feel like I'm treating you like a bunch of fucking morons, but the amount of people who talk about who should win when my argument predicates on how Death Battle does their research, what Death Battle has shown in their blogs, common trends with how Death Battle scales characters, and things that they might not consider might shock you. Beerus just has the better chance of winning. From a cynical point of view, I would say there's no real reason to hype Beerus up if he loses, and also they might not want the response they get from killing one of the most popular Dragon Ball characters that exist, period. Yes, Galaxia is very popular, and yes, Sailor Moon is massive, but come on. Comparing almost any anime that isn't, like, fucking One Piece or something to Dragon Ball in popularity, it's kind of a dying argument. Sailor Moon probably is in the same general league, but it's not as popular, and Beerus is probably more popular than Galaxia. I know a lot of people who didn't know who the hell Galaxia was, including me, until Beerus' thing came up. But then looking at both blogs and what I do and don't think they're likely to include, including the fact that they are going to leave things out of the blogs because they're not going to give away everything. Currently the best thing they have for Galaxia and attack power is Uni, and that's scaling to universe scale events. Beerus, however, is scaling to his clashes with Champa that threaten two universes. Why is it Champa when his name is based on Champagne? Shouldn't it be Champa? Those universes were about three times larger than regular ones, by the way, putting Beerus in the range of six times universal, giving him a big power advantage. Now, at the very least, they're going to have him two times universal, or at least one times universal, but they did say that the universes are bigger in the blog, so at the very least, Beerus is going to be more universal than Galaxia. Now, in terms of speed, most people would have Beerus in the quadrillion, scaling to Whis's speed, however, they're also scaling Beerus to the shockwaves he made against Goku which I disagree with, and I think is about as stupid as scaling a human's attack speed to the shockwaves made by the end of a whip. Galaxia's scaling and feats don't seem anywhere near that level of speed. Of course, they're scaling the quintillions of times like calc for her, but that's not in the blog, at least I couldn't see it. It is true that not everything is in these, and that's something they could even just bring up in the analysis, like, oh, and she dodged this attack, and then the conclusion go, well, actually, this attack is worth 10 octonondecillion times the speed of light. So that's one of the things they could be keeping secret to the actual episode. But honestly, it does seem like Beerus is going to have the speed and strength advantage, and while I'm fine with the strength one, because Multiverse and Galaxia sounds cursed without context, honestly, it's the hacks that would probably give Galaxia the win. There's removing Beerus's Star Seed, or his Soul, which won't matter, because it's an anime-only ability of Galaxia, and I don't know if they'll use that. Galaxia should be immune to the Hakai, as she has resistance to that sort of erasure. However, she can also destroy things, but they'll probably have... Well, some characters resist the Hakai, and the Hakai is the same as Destruction, ergo Beerus is immune. So, it's completely possible Hakai and Destruction might just be not important to this, fa this whole fucking battle. She can create a maelstrom in space and time that alters the past, but I don't know if she'll use that in a fight, and they'll probably ignore it anyway. She has quantum level energy manipulation, but they'll probably also ignore that, because that's kind of just a weird thing. If I was to assume how it'd go, I'd probably be like this. Beerus and Galaxia's speed is close, but Beerus is faster via the shockwaves. Galaxia's destruction is universal via AP scaling, and Beerus's Hakai is low multiversal via AP scaling. Beerus is immune to destruction because other characters no sell the Hakai, but Galaxia's resistance would not be enough to cause Beerus's Hakai is stronger than Galaxia's destruction. As far as I'm concerned, Beerus is probably going to pull through and win this death battle. I could be surprised, but to me, that's how I think it's going to go. I mean, you could tell that I, I like this idea, kind of, but... I'm not too plussed. I mean, there wasn't really much they were going to do to make me really happy with Beerus' opponent, I guess. I don't really know most of his well-loved battles, but then the ones I do know, like Odin and Phoenix, I just don't like. 
because I don't want more Marvel in DC, okay? And then ones I joke about, like Big and Ryuga, I would be happy to see them, but at the same time, I just don't think they would make for a good episode. So in terms of who I seriously wanted, there wasn't really much. I mean, all the ones that sound interesting to me, like Galaxia and, I don't know, Bill Cipher, I don't really have any connection to the characters. Probably the character I had the most connection with that would be the most interesting would be Kratos, but also, I don't like that matchup, so, <laughs> no. It's not Arceus, though, so I guess I'm okay with that. Strongest, the Dragon Emperor himself!